Hello everyone, Sons and Doctor 2, welcome to another mod review, this time on Odd Power. The mod that simply adds in the ability for you to use two new generators. So, first up, go uh, Odd Power, and you can see we have the dummy generator, made like so, with a few mob drops, some iron, and a redstone block. You've got an explosion generator, which is another star, some TNT and iron. You've got the dummy here, which is made with diamonds, an armor stand, and yellow dye, or some are equivalent. Now, the dummy generator, obviously, is this one here, and you do need the dummy to be placed on top of it. You can use any other mob, obviously, and it's not going to work. You have to have a dummy on top of this generator, because that's its intended purpose. And uh, if I just attack them, I don't know how much health they have. My guess is probably about as much as a player. They generate 1,000 durability, uh, sorry, forge energy. I don't know how I got to that conclusion um, of words. But yeah, you just pretty much keep attacking them. And if you have, obviously, a mob farm, it'll be very helpful in this situation. I don't know how to go about multiple of these, but uh, yeah, and the dummy does not appear the same way as a spawn egg, so obviously that's not going to do much there. Um, I don't know if I can get this to work with the bat box. Volume us energy, but I can try and see if that works. Still forge energy, so it'll be perfectly fine. Um, obviously it focuses on forge energy as the supported power API. I assume RF shouldn't matter too much, but obviously you'll want to go with mods that more so support forge energy. Uh, going to obviously the explosion generator, it works with TNT. Uh, I don't know about creepers, I assume they probably might, and ghasts I could, I guess, as well, test. So we'll start off with TNT, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that I can use the mob griefing command to, uh, prevent things. So I've already got that set to false, and as we can see here, how much it generates. And we've got 11,000 and something. We'll try about here and see if distance makes a difference. I don't think so though. Maybe not. Now we can try oop. We can try a creeper and light them on fire. Light them up. Didn't generate much that time, so creepers don't generate much power. Does that mean you need to have like a longer explosion? Yeah. Oop. Got something there that time. If I do this and get them to explode, what difference do we have? Mm. Yeah, they still don't generate as much. And if we get a ghast in here, what happens now? I think I need something else to that one there. I can get them to happen here. I don't think anything worked there at all. It found me there. Eh, a little bit. So a ghast explosion's really not going to do much. A creeper, a bit better, but TNT is the best way to go, and obviously the easiest and most um, controllable of the lot. Um, but if you do have other sources like a creeper farm and you just get a bunch of them exploding, and then have one around, you should be able to get it going. Um, that way, if you don't have access to a ton of gunpowder and sand, or a TNT sort of crafting system. Otherwise, though, uh, that's pretty much it. Obviously, more ideas are probably welcome, I assume, for the creator to implement. But, uh, yeah, at the moment, that is just the two features. And I don't think there is any configs or anything you can tweak elements of. There is not, and I'm just going to check... And a server configs as well, and yeah, nothing there either. So yeah, no no values you can tweak, no storage buffer sort of things, or um, you know, dummy um, health, I guess, or certain other stuff, transfer rate, etc. So yeah, and obviously pipes and cables and everything else will work, of course, as you'd expect. Some other mods. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.